Do you need to start saving money? Well, one of the greatest methods to achieve this is to assess the things you frequently buy, identify the ones you don't actually need, and stop purchasing them. You undoubtedly buy a number of items often without giving them any thought. It's simple to waste money on pointless items if you're not paying attention to what you're purchasing. Yet, if you need to reduce your spending, you gotta eliminate these items. Number 1. Bottled Water You can cut out the cost of buying bottled water from your budget to save some money each month. Even a $1 daily investment in bottled water can build up to $30 per month. Also, the price will be significantly greater if you want to drink fancy brand bottled water. Get a reliable water filler and a portable, refillable water bottle that you can take with you wherever you go. Number 2. Fast Food Fast food is a quick, simple, and convenient way to get lunch, but it's also bad for your budget and your health. If you frequently consume fast food, you might be surprised by how much money you spend on eating out each month. The average person spends between $100 and $500 a month or more on just fast food. Nevertheless, if you make your own food at home, you can save that money. You can even choose the ingredients and portion amounts for your meals when you make them at home so you can eat healthily. Cutting back on dining out is likely the greatest strategy to save money each month if you find it difficult to stop eating fast food. And even if you occasionally eat fast food, you may still save money by shopping for coupons or going during a kid-free night. Number 3. Sale items you don't need You shouldn't purchase something just because it's on sale right now. If you don't really need something, you aren't really saving money by getting it on sale. Sale items frequently tempt us to purchase because it's simple to believe that we're saving money, but this is a trick that retailers employ to encourage you to spend more money. Always remember, a sale item should only be bought if it fits inside your budget. Number 4. A gym membership or subscription If you're paying for a gym membership right now, but don't use it frequently enough, you're just squandering your money. Even if you frequently use your gym membership, you can cancel it and work out for free at home. On YouTube, you can find and watch excellent workout videos that are relevant to your particular needs for at-home exercise. Another cost-free substitute for an expensive gym membership that can run you hundreds of dollars a year is to go for a run or walk outside. To locate memberships and subscriptions that are rarely used or underused, you can utilize an app like True Bill or Trim, or you can just cancel them all manually. Number 5. Cable TV Subscription If you don't watch much TV anyhow, canceling your cable TV subscription is an easy way to save money each month. Cable television is pricey. Paying for cable is unnecessary if you hardly ever watch TV anyway. Depending on your package, cutting the cord can save you anywhere from $60 to $130 a month. You can put a lot of money back in your pocket with that. Hence, stop paying for cable and switch to far less expensive on-demand streaming services like Hulu and Netflix, as well as live TV streaming services like Sling TV and YouTube TV. Number 6. New Cell Phones Your existing cell phone's newest model, well, do you really need it? When your cell phone plan is up for renewal, don't upgrade your phone if the one you own right now has all the features you require. If you don't actually need an expensive phone plan, don't pay for one. If you don't require all the things you're paying for, you can even think about calling your current phone carrier to bargain for a lower rate on your current phone plan. Number 7. Paper Towels Your monthly grocery costs increase as a result of buying paper towels, but you may simply reduce this cost by using a few rags to wipe mirrors, kitchen worktops, and other surfaces. By washing the cotton towels every other day, you can reuse them. You can save a lot of money if you quit buying paper towels or if you only use them for filthy or nasty situations. Stopping your use of paper towels is another way you can protect the environment. Number 8. New Books or Magazines If you enjoy reading, investing in new publications can quickly mount up in thousands of dollars. Usually after reading a book once, we place it on a shelf where it only gathers dust over time. Yet if you visit your local library, you can read a good book for nothing or without spending a lot of money. 
checking out secondhand bookstores or thrift stores for books is another way to quit buying new ones and save money. Number 9. Haircuts at Salons Hey, this may not be for everyone, but getting your haircut at home can actually help you save a lot of money. Particularly if you have young kids who don't yet have many ideas about their hairstyle. Boys or girls haircutting tutorials can be found online in abundance on YouTube. You only need to watch those video tutorials and purchase a nice set of scissors and clippers to cut your own hair and the hair of your family members. If you're married, you can cut the hair of your spouse and they can cut your hair too. But that would be a test of your trust in each other. Number 10. Big Name Brand Medicines did you know that generic medications cost substantially less and are just as effective as their brand name counterparts? By purchasing generic medications, which are far less expensive than brand name equivalents, you can reduce the cost of medications. Hence, stop paying too much for your medications by switching to generic brands. Before we move on with this video, did I already mention the things that you do buy? Leave us a comment down below and continue watching this video because we're not yet done. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for more financial knowledge. Number 11. Bank Fees Do you currently have a bank account with a monthly fee? Really, there's no justification for paying a bank a monthly charge. Does your bank impose bank fees such as those for minimum account balances, overdrafts, foreign transactions, and other charges? Consider moving to a bank that offers basic bank accounts with no banking fees if you anticipate paying any of these expenses. Number 12. Prepackaged food or goods. Stop purchasing pre-made meals if you want to save money each month. This includes prepared foods like sandwiches, meals, pre-sliced produce, and more. While purchasing convenience foods in prepackaged form can save you a ton of time, you can spend less money and consume food that's fresher and healthier by making your own meals using cheaper components. Hence, prepare your own salads and sandwiches to save money each month and enjoy better, healthier cuisine. Number 13. Take out coffees. If you enjoy coffee, purchasing your daily favorite brewed fancy coffees at the coffee shop can get very pricey. To save money each month, brew your own coffee at home or at the office. If you spend at least $5 per day at your preferred coffee shop, that works up to around $100 each month. If you make your own coffee at home, it's a cost you may eliminate or reduce to save money. You'll truly spend less each month if you stop buying coffee every day. Number 14. Branded Products the majority of the time, generic or store brand goods are comparable to name brand goods. In terms of quality and ingredients, there's frequently no difference or a very small one between generic items and their brand name counterparts. Hence, in order to save money each month, don't be hesitant to purchase the store brand or generic brand items whenever you go shopping going forward. Number 15. Alcohol and cigarettes. Although it's difficult to give up, you can save a lot of money if you give up consuming alcohol and smoking cigarettes. What's worse is that drinking and smoking are kind of bad for your health. So give up your vices and start making a lot of monthly savings. Number 16. Cute clutter items. Some people refer to them as decor or knickknacks. These are the stale candles, the adorable plaques with motivational sayings, and the strangely formed sculptures that you're not entirely sure what they're supposed to be, but you still bought it because it was 70% off. These things don't do anything to improve your life on a daily basis. Although buying them may make you feel better, you're still paying money for something that'll sit on a shelf and serve no purpose for you. If you're tempted to purchase a cute piece of clutter, Restrain yourself and put the money into your savings account instead. Savings accelerated. Number 17. Other beverages. Other than water, beverages are pricey and not very healthy for your body. To quench your thirst, sip water. Juice, soda, and energy drinks can cost less if you drink more water. You won't have to buy drinks every time you're thirsty if you carry a refillable water bottle with you. Number 18. Occasion clothes. You're spending too much money on clothing if you often only purchase clothes for special events such as weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, and many more. The 
both men and women should consider developing a capsule wardrobe. It's actually surprising how a little bit of preparation and a few key pieces can give the impression that you have far more apparel than you actually do. If you do have a special occasion that calls for a brand new item, think about renting it out. You can prioritize saving money while maintaining a nice appearance this way. Number 19. Cleaning Supplies These can be costly and frequently aren't eco-friendly either. You may simply make your own cleaning materials with vinegar and baking soda rather than purchasing them from the store. You could save money and keep your home chemical free by using homemade solutions. Number 20. Holiday Decorations If you enjoy going all out for certain occasions like Christmas and Halloween, you might want to reduce the number of decorations you purchase and make years worth of use out of the decorations that you do purchase. So when you stop buying these things right now, what's your reaction on these lists? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Till next time!